Hey there, Christ Fellowship. Um, in my quiet time today, I, I came across a passage that I thought was particularly relevant to the types of things that we're going through right now. It's from James um, in chapter 4, where James says, Come now, you who say, today or tomorrow we will go into such and such a town and spend a year there and trade and make a profit. Uh, yet you do not know what tomorrow will bring. What is your life? For you are a mist that appears for a little time and then vanishes. Instead, you ought to say, if the Lord wills, we will live and do this or that. It is as it is, you boast in your arrogance. All such boasting is evil. Uh, think of how many of us were making plans saying, oh, we're going to do this uh, in, in March, we're going to do this in April, maybe in May we're going to do this or that. And uh, really, with what's going on with, with the quarantine, we should have said all along, you know, if we're still around, um, if we still have breath in us, if we're allowed out of our houses, uh, if we were allowed to meet for church, then we would do this or, or that. Um, so just remember that uh, we ought to speak in a way that acknowledges that God is sovereign and that uh, man uh, makes his plans in pencil and then God writes over them in, in ink. Um, it used to be that people would sign their letters or whenever they wrote about a plan in the future, they would put the letters D V afterwards, which stood for the Latin Deo Volente, meaning God willing, God willing. If God wills, we will do this, we will do that. And now with the news, we heard, well, perhaps things will be over by Easter. And then it was, well, perhaps things will be over by the end of April. We're pretty sure about that. Yesterday, President Trump's speech said, um, well, probably the first of June, we would be at a point where we can start getting back to normal uh, we ought to say these things in the future, if the Lord wills, we will do this, we will do that. But praise God that we have a Father who is sovereign over all these things. He is control. He, he knows the timeline from start to the finish, and uh, nothing takes him by surprise. And so enjoy the time that he's given you to do what he's given you to do, and start making plans for the future. It'll be wonderful for us to do things together when the quarantine lifts. But be sure to make your plans in pencil and after them write DV. God bless.